A lot of senior chefs always put these young chefs down. When they, at the start of their career, at the start of them entering FMB, I always hear comments from senior chefs telling them that, why would you like to join FMB? Hi, I'm Joel, the chef owner of Enjoy Eating House and Bar. I'm now at my flagship restaurant at Stevens Road. Uh, over here at Enjoy Eating House and Bar, we do mainly Singaporean cuisine, but it's more of the food that I eat and I love growing up in Singapore as a Singaporean myself. Uh, a large part of my culinary experience came from my grandma. So since I was like very young, about five, six years old, so I would always like stand beside her to watch her cook. And these are the food that will give me a sense of comfort when I eat anytime, anywhere in the world. I never thought I would enter FMB ever, never ever. After spending some time in, in university, I got a bit bored when I was doing music full time. I thought, no, why not just try to, to just open the steamboat shop? Because in a way, I thought it was easy. Everything was just buy in, just cook your soup stock, and you can sell the customers just like that. But throughout my culinary diploma, I actually felt that I enjoyed the teamwork and the team spirit in the kitchen itself. During my internship, I realised that when compared to my peers, I have a sharper tongue. I'm able to taste difference in, the, in different dishes and able to replicate it easily. I thought that why not let's try to step into F&B and get into industry see how it goes. And it's been about uh, 12 years since I started the journey and I never looked back. Lah. I think the biggest struggle that we face would be price versus expectation kind of a quality. And Enjoy Eating House and Bar, we are not trying to do things in a very exaggerated way. The food itself should be what it, you imagine it to be. I do not feel that we should try to exaggerate the food that we grew up eating into something different just so that people are able to see value in the item itself. We have three dishes here today, salt baked barmudi, baked curry barmudi and the white Alaskan king crab. Okay, for the first dish, the salt baked barmudi itself, this is a dish that I was actually inspired when I was running a Thai restaurant many many years ago. I got this idea from the street food stalls in Thailand where they usually use like the uh, snakehead fish or tilapia and they grill it over slow charcoal and coat it with salt. Instead of using freshwater tilapia, I chose to use this local grown barmudi. I felt that the texture and the quality of meat is very very good. And so uh, we do it a very simple cooking way. So we, we prepare it simply by stuffing it with herbs, uh, coffee lime leaf, lemongrass, uh, basil, just to impart some uh, aromatics and flavour to the meat itself. And then we coat it with salt before putting it in the oven to grill for about 30 minutes. The next dish will be the crispy fish in the chef red curry sauce. So this is the same fish itself. My of doing it in a very uh, simple way to just to accentuate the quality of the meat. We try to do something that's heavier for those who prefer stronger flavours. So for this red curry sauce itself, it's a bit of a Nonya inspired. I got the idea from one of my favourite restaurants in Singapore. They have a similar Nonya special sauce. In this red curry sauce itself, we have many herbs and spices that goes into making the paste. There are things like galangal, lemongrass, candle nut, uh, onion, shallots, uh, chilies. All these are the usual things that Nonya family in Singapore would make. We use it and cook it with coconut milk and reduce it to a sauce-like consistency so it's very thick and strong. After the sauce is done, we toss it with crispy deep-fried fillets of the barmudi itself and we feel that the flavours of the sauce and the fish goes very well together. The white pepper Alaskan king crab is a dish that is exclusive to our flagship restaurant at Stevens Road. We only use live Alaskan king crab which should get from a supplier in Singapore. I thought that the flavours and the spiciness of the white pepper and the fragrance goes very well with the sweetness of the white pepper crab. And we cook it very simply with the white pepper sauce to bring out the flavours of the Alaskan king crab itself. We serve the Alaskan king crab and enjoy in smaller portions so that smaller groups are able to enjoy. In other restaurants itself, usually you have to purchase a whole crab to try, just to eat the Alaskan crab. And for 2-3 kilos of crab, you need at least 6 or more people to eat it. So when we started at Jalan Besar, we were unsure whether the concept would work because Unlike most Chinese restaurants, there isn't a specific dialect or regional cuisine linked to Enjoy. What Enjoy does would be me as a chef, my experience and what I like eating growing up in Singapore. Actually, the idea for Jan Mersa and Stevens Road would be to have a sense of home when you enter the restaurant. I would say old school. The whole decor itself, the hotel is, is set in the 80s, early 90s kind of a feel. 
So at Demons Road itself, uh, we aim it to be like a wholesome Singapore dining experience. So aside from the food, we also work with local craft beer companies that brew their own beers in Singapore. Uh, a full range of wines as well. One of the reasons why I started off restaurant wasn't simply because I like to cook. Because I think all chef owners would know, the moment you start a restaurant, you actually cook a lot lesser. I would just work at somewhere else. The reason is that I always wanted to create a space where friends, families could gather after work, catch up after a long time over a good meal. And I step out of the, in a way, war zone from the kitchen. We hear people laughing, talking, chatting in a very, very, in a very jovial kind of a mood. And this is the motivation that I get every time I feel tired itself. Whenever I speak to customers, especially the older ones, they always give tips on to how to make it better, how to do it a certain way itself. So I'm very happy that I'm able to take in all this information from all the experience in a way, uncles and aunties who have been cooking the whole life. A lot of senior chefs always put these young chefs down. When they, at the start of their career, at the start of them entering FMB, I always hear comments from senior chefs telling them that why would you like to join FMB? It's, it's long hours, it's tiring, you miss occasions, Valentine's Day, Christmas. Why are you working here so hard? Or you could find another job, be a property agent, earn tens of thousands a month. That's the reason why this young person is interested in FMB and want to be a chef itself. I would think that the focus would be more on this young chef achieving culinary excellence than to focus on such zhe pings of the job because these are part and parcel of the job itself. Every job has its, has its struggles and difficulties. I wouldn't say any future plans per se. Uh, the past years have been a struggle. We'll just continue trying to do what we've always been wanting to do, to bring a piece of Singapore to both locals and foreigners alike.